Hey everybody, this is Joe Joseph and this is the DailySheeple.com's New Shot. So, Free Thought Project has a great piece, Nevada Disobeys the Feds, Passes Revolutionary Law to Grow Commercial Hemp. Ah. Nevada became the latest state to defy the federal government apparent, apparent war on nature by legalizing commercial industrial hemp production last Friday. Governor Brian Sandoval signed Senate Bill 396 into law authorizing the cultivation of industrial hemp for commercial purposes and the, per and the production of agricultural hemp seed in Nevada. The bill was created by a group of 12 bipartisan senators and was initially introduced in March. After receiving unanimous approval in the Senate, it was uh, passed by the full assembly 34 to 5. I know, it is after all Nevada. While state law prevents or previously allowed institutions of higher education or the Nevada Department of Agriculture to grow industrial hemp for approved research purposes, the new law will open licensing programs to growers, handlers, and producers of hemp seed. Stop there. Can you believe this? In this day and age, and I know there's a lot of things that happen in this day and age that, that we scratch our heads at, but you're talking about something that, first of all, people just don't get high on. It's industrial hemp. Um, and there are so many benefits to it. I mean, literally, it's a weed. You know, there's a reason why they call it weed. It's because it's a weed. And it has so many uses. If you want to talk about sustainability and living green, what better way is there than to start mass producing commercial hemp? I mean, you're talking about something that's much more durable than cotton. So... If you like um, dungarees or jeans, it's a much better material to use because it lasts a lot longer. So, oops, you know, um, your planned obsolescence kind of takes a hit there, but that's a benefit for us. Then, of course, you have the ability to take it and make um, uh, hempoline, which is basically uh, they make an alcohol, an ethyl alcohol out of the hemp, and you can use that as a fuel. Um, there's so many different uses to hemp, um, not just medicinal. Uh, now they have hempcrete, which is a lot more efficient and cheaper to produce than concrete, and it's very strong. There are so many uses to this. It just seems to me that it's a no-brainer. How states that are all grappling right now with huge budget deficits, you got Connecticut, that doesn't know how the hell it's going to go on. You've got Hartford, Connecticut, the capital of Connecticut, that wants to declare bankruptcy because, oops, they have the highest property tax rate and they can't tax their people enough. They've taxed them into oblivion. They've taxed the businesses into an oblivion to the point where Aetna, their, one of their largest um, employers in Hartford, they're pulling chalks. Colt Manufacturing, you know, the, the, the Colt Gun Company, they pulled chalks. How many people need to go? A great thing to do because Connecticut used to be a big tobacco producer. Why don't you go ahead and start growing commercial hemp? Why don't you go and first decriminalize marijuana? I'm not really a big fan of legalization because we don't need the state's permission or we shouldn't need the state's permission when it comes to hemp or marijuana. We're talking about a natural substance here. We're talking about a natural plant, uh, much like your kratom. Uh, why? Why is that? Why should it have to be regulated? It shouldn't have to be regulated. These things, to me, seem more common sense than anything else, but perhaps that's why we've allowed it to remain legal or illegal for so long is because, you know, I got to tell you, most of America have lost their common sense. Now, it goes on to say, because industrial hemp is the product of a variety of the cannabis plant, it's treated as a drug. But it's important to note that hemp is non-psychoactive and has the potential to be used in more than 25,000 products, including fibers, textiles, papers, construction, insulation materials, etc., etc. Not to mention the fact that if you think about this, hemp takes 90 days to grow. Okay, trees take 15 years plus to get to the size where they're harvested to make paper and things like that and diapers and yeah, you name it. 
So not only can we save the trees, you know, but now you have something, again, that's much more durable than anything that trees produce and has a ton of benefit. So everybody out there that, A, likes sustainable living, that likes to be good vanguards of the environment and wants to lower the cost of living, then we need to be putting hemp to use because we have so much that we can benefit from. And again, this has nothing to do with medical marijuana. This has nothing to do with legalizing marijuana. This is strictly right here. This is just industrial hemp. But of course, America, our government, and most of the world treat it as some sort of like venom. God forbid we actually do something that it makes sense. At least Nevada has. Says the latest federal action related to industrial hemp occurred when President Obama signed the Agricultural Act of 2014. It included a section that gave universities and state departments of agriculture the clearance to begin cultivating industrial hemp for limited purposes because it's going to hurt people because you're going to die. The law from 2014 noted that the permission would only be granted if, quote, the industrial hemp is grown or cultivated for purposes of research conducted under an agricultural pilot program or other agricultural or academic research. And if, quote, the growing or cultivation of industrial hemp is allowed under the laws of the state in which such institutions of higher learning and State Department of Agriculture is located and such research occurs. So, hurrah for you, Nevada. At least there's one state there that has pulled their head out of their tuchus. 26 states so far, I think, have uh, legalized marijuana but we still haven't seen the cultivation of industrial hemp on a major scale. And until that happens and we start capitalizing on the benefits of that, then you can plan on being a slave to big oil and all of these big mega corporations that just want to keep you under their thumb. And that's the way it is. It's all about control. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.